Hey, welcome back. My name is Alex. I'm a freelance videographer and filmmaker, and today we are taking a look at Jin's The Astronaut. I was wondering which member was gonna release their solo work next. I'm glad that it's Jin, because I've gained a new appreciation for him during the last couple run episodes. If you want to watch my extended uncut version of this reaction, as well as live streams, concerts, Bon Voyage, all of the docuseries, and much more content, the Patreon link is in the description below. And if you want to support the channel, I do have shirts. You can't even, you can't read it, but I have a whole website of shirts and a couple more new ones on the way. Again, links in the description below. With all of that out of the way, I read the lyrics, but I did not listen to the song quite yet. He looks so beautiful. <laughs> oh, his eyes look amazing. Oh, okay. So is he an alien? That's obviously an alien spaceship. So did they crash on earth or was he in there when it crashed. He didn't look all like cut up and bruised up. That looks so good. Is that supposed to be his helmet? It's like a little bike helmet. Oh, that spaceship looks amazing. Ooh. This is gonna be like a movie, kinda. Like a nice like story. That lighting looks really good. So what is it? So that's Jin wearing the outfit that he was just wearing. Is the astronaut Jin or is this Jin? That looks like it could be his parents, his sister, and then an astronaut, which is maybe him. If that's him, then this is him right here with what looks like his little sister, which is also right there. So I'm thinking the astronaut is him. There's a whole lot of space stuff in that run. A beam of light spot. Okay, oh, yeah, there's the beam of light right there. I know that they create all of their sets pretty much inside of a studio. So I'm looking at this thinking, that's not actually outside. This window might be blank. They might've added this in, in editing. This might just be all white or it might be a green screen. Maybe not because the white's coming over here. Especially look at the corner of this fishbowl. That's definitely green. Could be the green from the trees, but I don't know. Oh, that's nice. But the perspective did change. So maybe they are at a house. Oh, we got the nice like lens flare. What did the crossword say? Army, astronaut, cozy, star, moon. <laughs> oh, okay, no, they did actually film that. They're in a neighborhood, which is really cool. I don't see them on location that often. Is that the little girl in the drawings or is that just some random little girl? Oh, that shot is so beautiful. Yes, that shot is beautiful too. Ooh! Oh, I love it. I love that so much. First off, this neighborhood that they're in is beautiful. It looks like something out of a movie. I don't know where they filmed this, but this is like a pitch perfect neighborhood. But that shot, so the way they got it is they attached the camera to a car on like one of these arms, or they had one of those cars that have the arms on top of them. What I like about the shot is that it starts off relatively close to him and Jin is running. He's running as fast as he can, but he cannot quite catch up to the camera. The camera is just outside of his reach until it's very, far out of his reach. Kind of like stars, maybe. If his dream was to be an astronaut, the stars are pretty far out of his reach. I love his voice too. This is so cool. Are they like on a studio lot? Maybe. That looks like a studio lot. Maybe they filmed this while they were in America. It's just a random astronaut there. <laughs> oh, he looks so good. This is like a short film. This is a crew member or the person filming. It's like awkwardly blurred out. This scene is amazing though. Actually being face to face with that thing that you want to do. He wants to be an astronaut. Now he gets to like see it in front of his face and he gets to imagine himself as that astronaut. Yes, that's a great shot. 
Oh, all of these beautiful tracking shots. Yes. Yes. So open and fast. Okay, so that, that was the same girl as the picture. Okay. Oh. I feel this way I've never felt. And we're seeing him teach, I'm guessing his little sister, maybe his neighbor, I don't know. We're seeing him teach this little girl how to ride her bike for the first time. And we're cutting between shots of Jin riding this bike out in the open. No obstructions, no buildings, nothing. Just a man and his bike. It's like that feeling of freedom. Like the, the very first time that you learn how to ride your bike by yourself, it's so freeing. That's where the beam of light was coming from. That is just a good looking shot. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Now he's like in space. <laughs> that is a really cool visual. I wonder if they filmed that in a virtual production like studio with the screens all around him, or maybe they just filmed that on a green screen. But the camera is revolving around him and that kind of makes things difficult. It would be a lot easier for them to do it in a virtual production space. It looks amazing though. This whole thing is like a short film. Oh, look at the shooting star. Ooh, see, look at that. It feels so real. It feels like he's just standing there, surrounded by a galaxy. You ever go to like a museum and they have the, the projection thing of all the stars? It's kind of what it feels like. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> oh. What is on his neck? He's just casually walking away as his spaceship is about to take off. <laughs> he like does not seem bothered. Everyone is trying to leave and he's just trying to get home. He does not seem bothered at all. He was able to get a ride. Oh, that is so beautiful. What is up with his neck though? Home. Family. Okay, that was beautiful. <laughs> that felt like a short film, like a, like a nice five minute short film. They shot it all on anamorphic lenses. That's why it's so like squeezed, but then we get these nice light flares every now and then. I can appreciate this so much. It is, it looks so good. The story was really good too. He's had, he had two opportunities where he's literally face to face with his dreams. When he sees the astronaut and then the spaceship, he's right there. He walked away away from the spaceship to get back home because family was more important. I wanna give a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, specifically Caroline, Jemmy, Julia, Kimberly, Lucas, Melissa, Miss Heiju, Sabrina, and Victoria. If you're not already subscribed, join the crew, hit that subscribe button, and all right, all right.